Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to and welcome back to another Photoshop retouching tutorial. I'm celebrity and fashion photographer Chris Cavanaugh and in today's video we're going to be getting into a Photoshop retouching tutorial where I show you how I go about cleaning up male skin. Now, within this video I'm going to be showing you the breakdowns of how I accomplish the looks I accomplish within Photoshop when it comes to color grading, when it comes to skin retouching, when it comes to uh, cleaning up areas and paying attention to the details. If you have any questions within this, you're more than welcome to ask. So right now, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing that happens when it comes to the retouching process that I like, I love to go in and zoom in and analyze what needs to be done. I know within the skin we have discoloration that I would like to correct. We have texture that I would like to correct, tonality that I would like to correct. Also within this, cleaning up different wrinkles and imperfections within the clothing, cleaning up imperfections within the pavement, and also the uh, ATM machine. Within this as well, we're going to go around and correct other subtle details as well. So right now, let's go. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is go in with the uh, spot heal tool. What the spot heal tool allows me to do is go around and start removing imperfections from different things, whether it's the machine right here, and we have that little shadow that I don't want there to be casted, whether it's going in and simply just removing small imperfections, larger imperfections that are noticeable. I like to be able to create a overall clean result and I think those small details when it comes to retouching in that whole process is something that allows your images to be taken to a whole new level I think a lot of the times as creators you know we can get into a place of oh nobody will see it but you know when it comes down to the retouching process to a more trained eye things that are missed and details that are missed are the first things that are able to be spotted so just go in take your time and that is a way that you clean these different portions. Yo, what up, bro? <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is just keep making my way around the ATM. I think that's just a first point of contact that I would like to kind of, you know, perfect within this. I use different tools with the spot heel tool, the patch tool as well. And it's an easy way to select around a surface area and simply just drag down. And what that allows you to do is fully remove something that was there. So if you don't want a sticker that's there, you can simply go around, select around that sticker, and then just drag and drop. And sometimes it's going to come out really well. Sometimes it's going to need a little bit more attention that needs to be made. But that's okay. You know, that's what we're here for, to like learn and really see what we need to have to be perfected. And I'm just going to continue this process using that patch tool method. And also, when it comes to that, like down to this, I am going to make sure I pay great attention to the cement as well, getting those gum spots off. If there's cracks in the pavement, we can remove that as well. The initial goal and the overall goal is just to make a really clean, presentable image. Even simple details of that bag, you know, just cleaning that little spot up. All right. Give me one little good second. Also, I want to remove half of this little crusty mark right here that's on the uh, ATM. All those little details here, I'll show you guys actually what I've done so far with the quick before and after. So this is where we started, look at that. This is where we are right now, and we're going to keep continuing this process. All right, so what I'm going to do is simply go on and remove that. And then also, if you have any questions, definitely don't hesitate to uh, reach out and ask anything. That's what we're here for. So let me get 
create some ambient music in the back that's not copywritten that Facebook is going to shut us down some chill vibes all right so we're just going to continue that process of removing imperfections and details and I think we're getting to a portion where I'm pretty happy with the results you know I think it looks really 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 good so yeah so the next portion I'm going to do after this is pay attention to the actual subject so along this I'm going to start cleaning up skin using methods like frequency separation dodge and burn and we're going to remove different imperfections within the skin and discoloration that's there even just bringing out subtle details as well all right so i'm going to zoom into the skin and i am going to continue to remove imperfections from the face also i'm using a wacom pen tablet so you can definitely get into different details smaller details and imperfections and what it allows you to do is work around the skin and around the face without disturbing or damaging other aspects you know simple process Also, if you want to find some of the Photoshop LUTs and packs that I'll be using throughout this process, go ahead and click that link right here that's in the comment section, and it will give you the opportunity to check out my photography store where I have different Photoshop presets, different photography lighting diagram books and book booklets, ebooks that's teaching you how I get the results I get in my photography workflow. We have sales going on right now, plus we have new prices for inventory as well. My photography lighting diagram ebook is going for $29.99 along with the actual physical copy at $65, $60, $65 after taxes. So my next process right now I'm going to go into is just cleaning up and bringing out the details of the eyes and that's simply going in and using methods like dodge and burn. And what I love about using methods like dodge and burn is it allows me as a creator to simply go in and a retoucher to go in and not damage skin. I think that's one thing when it comes to retouching that we have to understand, you know, those subtle tiny imperfections can be removed without damaging certain areas using a, a heavier method like a blur tool or, you know, a frequency separation done incorrectly because we're still gonna use frequency separation to achieve the result but we just want to make sure we do everything in a kind of way that is not deconstructing or destructive to the actual image all right so i'm going to back up real quick show you guys a quick before look at that and after of where we are so far and see this is what I'm saying those small details are what matters those small details that you remove allows an image to go from one thing to the next you know you might think that people don't recognize these things but when it comes to a more trained eye it's so obvious that you didn't spend your time actually paying attention to those details that could have been removed I always say one thing that you should do is kind of visualize editing for a billboard. You know, when it comes to editing for a billboard, it's going to be on a huge, huge building. It's going to be on a huge platform where people can see, you know, these things as at a larger scale. So you don't want to kind of think about how you edit for Instagram, that people are going to be on a little phone, not seeing every detail, but actually editing in a way that are thinking in a way that it's going to be on a major scale where people will see all the skin pores, all the imperfections that's there. And if you start to consider that when it comes to retouching, 
it will literally help your whole quality and workflow you know go to a whole nother level all right even that little simple detail right there <laughs> where he tucked his tag in the shoe and you can remove little things like this by simply going in with yo what's up bro <laughs> simply going in with, in with the clone stamp tool with a nice opacity and brushing over these areas let's see what I did incorrect here actually what I'm going to do is go in Oop. and just do a little and this step on that there we go just to get that away and then we'll go back to that but i think you know within this process i just want more photographers to take at least this information pay attention to the details pay attention to the things that you think people don't notice because some people will allow all of this stuff that i've removed to be like oh yeah nobody's going to notice this but then when you see it actually removed it's like oh okay that looks better so the next portion that i'm going to go into is actually cleaning up the skin uh this should be a very easy alternative method of using things like frequency separation gaussian blur simply because it's not something that's you know just totally close up with detail um let me see i'm going to go down deselect and also i'm using this retouching essentials pack from my boy prince mason he has an absolutely amazing skin retouching pack that allows you to get better uh consistency within skin texture within tonality within uh the coloring of it and as you can see while i'm brushing around with my pen tablet just the entire uh texture of the skin and tonality of skin is starting to be more cohesive and also zoom in and out as well don't don't be afraid to zoom in and out of your images while you're working because one thing that you see from a further perspective is going to look totally different when you come up to a closer perspective with it so simple things like that even just when it comes to removing over here when it comes to removing uh different wrinkles within the shirt and all of those like different scenarios like it's methods and alternatives And right now as well, I'm kind of switching back and forth through my Wacom pen tablet and also my, um, what is it called? My mouse. I'm not going to try to get it all perfect because I know that, you know, the thing is the, the wind was blowing within this. So it's going to have some wrinkles. It's going to have some pulls, but if we can simply just go in and get this a little bit more cohesive and clean, I think that'll bring a better result. And don't be afraid to use uh, this tool in different areas of textures of things as well rather it's the bags or you know even the rocks like look at that small little tiny detail I did within those bags but it's a noticeable difference and then I'll show you what I did done with frequency separation see that and then we're going to select that again All right, so the next portion I'm going to go into, zoom into Jordan's face. Let's see. Is going into the uh, filters and going into the liquify. I just don't like how, I guess it looks like, you know, a little budge within the stomach right here. 
So what I'm going to do is go in with the clone stamp tool and simply just bring that over a little bit. And it's just happening because of how the wind was breaking. But just try to remove that and flatten it as much as possible so that it can look a little bit normal. Alright, so we have the basic just of the image kind of completed, you know, with certain like little small details that we wanted to attack. Now it comes into the portion of, I don't know if I want to remove this rust because I kind of think that it adds characteristic to this, but it comes to the portion of uh, going in and messing with the color grading. Now, when it comes to color grading, I have Photoshop presets that I create. All of these are available for sale with that link that I placed into the comment section. And what it allows you to do is render a Photoshop action over it. So right now I'm gonna use one of my favorite ones called Luxury Sand, and it's going to render and give this result. So also I'll do a before applying that action and then after see how it just added those gold tones and i use this one as well simply because of his undertones within his skin i think that's something that you have to recognize as a retoucher as well or just someone who works as a photographer is understanding color tones under undertones of the skin uh understanding different uh tools that you can integrate to be able to bring things out or color correct within your subject skin tone as well And you know what? I think I want to add a little bit more red within this. So I'm going to go over to the adjustments and just take that red up just a little bit. And then I'm also going to go over to the selective coloring and I want to play with those tones a little more. Just bringing that vibrancy out in the actual machine. Play with the yellows a little bit more. And then play with the saturation to bring it down so that it's not too vibrant and too saturated. And also, uh, you know what, while we're playing, I would like to see what the blacks look like if I integrated a little fusion of something within this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't like that. Ooh, I, I kind of like what this just did to that. I'm not mad at that. So I'm pretty happy with these results. This is just a quick Photoshop retouching that I wanted to come on and do. And I'll show you guys a quick before, a quick after. You know, of simple tasks that we did, like frequency separation, dodge and burn, using the spot heal, the patch tool, uh, using alternatives like color grading. Also, if you want to check out some of my Photoshop color grading actions, make sure you head over to the link that will be above this video right here. It's my photography store. It's a way to go over and show support to me as a creator in a monetary aspect. Or if you want to check it out, head over to my YouTube channel. It's chrisphotostudios.com, C-H-R-I-S f-o-t-o studios and check out other vid videos like this as well that i have showing how i actually color grade and retouch and behind the scenes content and all of those great things so if you enjoyed this video show some love to it share it like it tag a photographer tag a friend show it to a friend and i will see you back in the next video we're out